ask ourselves, is the American dream just an ideal or words to live by? All the ways in which you've dreamed are often undermined. You're gonna have to get through it. She could get me killed. She could get all of us killed. You're the one who's gonna get us killed. Alani, get out of my way. I can't do everything and be everything to everybody. I can't do it. Fantastic movie. I really enjoyed it. How did this come together? Why did you make this movie? Yeah, well, thank you. Um, you know, this film really uh, grew out of Harlem. It was uh, first written by Cherise Smith. And it really talks about environment and, and what it is to pursue your dreams and how much sacrifice goes along with that. And I um, was going to school here in LA and a friend of mine um, kind of missed a bunch of class because her, her cousin had been shot in a drive-by like right next to her. And, and I really realized like one experience like that, I mean, it completely derailed her from, from college. And, and we don't really realize that all the time, just how, um, how fragile pursuing dreams is and that one thing can completely change your future and your destiny um, if you don't have a safeguard, if you don't have a safety net. You played the part of the brother that wanted to take care of the household. I resonated with that really well because in high school, I had to step up to the plate in my family. You know, I came home to an eviction uh, notice on the door and I remember having worked months to save up to get my first car and I gave that money so that we wouldn't get kicked out. So I knew, or, like, I brought some of my own personal experiences to Jacob because he felt how I felt. He wanted to be the man, he wanted to step up, he saw an opportunity to help his family and he did what he thought was best to do. So I did a little shadowing when I was there. I shadowed a gang member uh, wow. to get some backstory and some background on my character so I could bring in that real true Harlem essence and vibe and that was an experience to say the least. It was. Um, but one thing that really stuck out to me was, and I say this in my um, behind the scenes, was something I saw him do was giving back so much to the community. On that first day I saw him giving to, there were some elderly women who were hungry, he bought them food. There was a young man that had, uh, he was slow of speech and things like that. He came up to him asking him for candy, he bought him candy, pops, and food. And it moved me so much that the next day I gave something to someone because I just didn't know what to expect that day. Going there to learn something, I was like, what am I about to learn? And then to get there and to learn a lot of things for my character, but to see that was like something life changing to me. I'll, I'll never forget it. Before we actually started to film, I took the first two months of it just to really learn the character and how would she walk and why is she looking for this love and how does the absence of her father lead her to, to look for this love in this older man. So it was a lot of preparation for it, something that I couldn't relate to personally, but I had to do the best that I could to be able to portray that story because it's very real. For a lot of young women. Exactly, exactly. To get caught up in the wrong things, to go searching for love in the wrong places because they feel like they've been denied of that love. And yes, I don't want to give too much of the film away, but. <laughs> right, right, that's, that's always the exactly. challenge. Exactly, I can't right? get too much right. of the yeah, film yeah, away, yeah. but yes. it gets real people, it's <laughs> real, all right? It does. Uh, what about the cast, working with them? How did that? It was great. We had a great yeah. time. I loved it. I really got close with both of them. But just since I filmed more with you, I, I got close with Ricky. And to this day, we still like talk a lot. And everyone was, had great energy and great. high spirits. And we all just wanted to do the best that we could to um, portray Sharice's story. We just wanted to really get her message out there because as actors and actresses, it's important that we do our jobs and give what the writer and the director wants us to give. What did you think about the role that you played and how, how pivotal it was to keep her saying, no, I'm here for you? For any young people, like especially growing up in neighborhoods that aren't the best, um, single parent household, like overcoming so much, it's important for not only like parents and grownups to believe in you, but to have a peer uh, that trusts you, that confides in you, that is going for the same thing that you are, I think it makes all the difference. Because um, sometimes I know that we hear grownups, but like to hear it from somebody that is your age, going through the same thing, it, it kind of hits different. And so uh, when I first read the script, 
like I immediately fell in love with Terrence um, and just like the light that he has and uh, and also working with Joy I mean it's like she's incredible and so you know I was also like rooting for her in real life and rooting for her as Terrence so it was like it made it uh, she made my job a lot easier what is your spirit animal um I, I cry I tend to like compartmentalize so I probably have like an outward facing and inward facing so my inward facing is probably a monkey okay yeah you have an outward facing uh, it's a good question I'm, I'm not sure Maybe okay. like a rhino or something that sounds good <laughs> that they take charge <laughs> there we go okay uh, for me it would be a lion as you can see I love lions oh, wow. so mine That's would be beautiful. A, a lion for sure okay <laughs> that sounds good Bebe, I just love that name. I'm sorry, I'm not calling Bebe. you by your name, but it was just when I heard it. As far as Bebe, I would say maybe like a little gazelle mixed <laughs> with a cheetah because she was very like sly with some of the things she did, but also very meek. And me personally as Shaylin, I would say a lioness because I'm very fierce and determined and I go after what I want. I think as Terrence, like a golden retriever. <laughs> you know? I would he agree. Like, he's like, I'm just ready to do whatever you want to do. I agree. <laughs> um, but like in my personal life, yo, like maybe like a penguin. <laughs> I feel like very chill, like, I don't know, they, they, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> today, it's just like, you know, chill. <laughs> okay. <laughs>